Race five is the first leg of the quaddy in the second trotting qualifier of the Inter Dominion tonight at Cranbourne. A lot of gate speed off the front line here. Illawong Armstrong flew the gate on night two, as we know. Romper's monarchy can get off the arm very hard. Uh, Kingdom Come even more on the front line has got good gate speed. But I do believe from what we've seen of Speeding Spur on both nights one and two of this Inter Dominion series, nothing will get across him early. He'll just bullock up in the middle in between runners and take the front of Illawong Armstrong, who wasn't successful in his bid to try and lead all the way on night two. So I wouldn't expect that Jody Quinlan will be adopting similar tactics over a longer trip here. Once Speeding Spur finds the front, you'd imagine only enrolled would want to go up and sit parked outside of him, particularly on the basis of doing such a terrific job on night two of the series. We're not far beaten despite a track record run behind Kai Valley Blur. Big Jack Hammer has the option of either following through in behind the leader or trying to get into clear air. I marginally favour the uh, scenario where Kima Frenning gets off the inside and tries to get into clear air. Romper's monarchy will be up on the premises somewhere. And Kai Valley Blur, just as he's done so successfully right throughout the last four or five years, will go back at the start, you'd imagine, and try and get a three-wide card into proceedings. Speeding Spur, an almost certain leader in the first leg of the quaddy, with enrolled the horse locker to sit parked in transit.